Welcome combatants, so we're going to talk today about obviously the new era and just where it could go and should this be continued but do like, subscribe with the bell notification, follow me to future for more content. So yes people, when we come to this new era, we do need to think about a few things about the multiverse, where it's heading, what can go on and just where it should remain or go to. Now obviously the um, Uppercut Edition did say about this, about if we would like it to go back to the first timeline of Midway or to return and come continue on the era that we're in now that being said i do want to say i know a lot of people love the midway era and a lot of people love how that all was but that was then and the new one this is now era there are a lot of differences a lot of changes a lot of things that are way more different characters who were never the characters that we knew of before but are now characters who were sons and daughters of the originals who are now no longer that and are just literal either friends or family of them characters themselves now we know Liu Kang in this era he, there's a new thing with the Titans coming from different timelines and it's a cool aspect because we get to see other characters even people like Reptile or heck even Rain coming through as their own rulers of their own worlds and we have to stop them now it's a cool concept that can have that with the multiverse because it's a little thing that's popular right now but I do feel like the only thing that's going okay where I feel like this should be the end of their multiverse arc should actually be this Titan Havoc arc and feel like with this arc right now it feels like this is accumulation of the titan multiverse type storyline with so many different havocs so many ones that are out there ready to cause havoc and chaos everywhere and with the new manipulation of characters like Bihan turning him into sub-zero like he should be when he wasn't meant to in this timeline era it's a little bit of a different thing that makes me think does this timeline need to have a multiverse story the really reason why I say that, not multiverses, but multiverse story. The reason why I say that is because even people like Havoc, this Havoc, Havoc has started out to be his normal self. Though he wants to do his for revolution and he'll build chaos and cause havoc and torture and everything wherever he goes. He might not be as wickedly ambitious as the other one who just wants chaos and death. He might want people to be freed, but in chaos and deathly type ways. So he still is similar to the old one, but just not as evil as the old one is, but he is still definitely evil he doesn't fight for good same as people like um kong lao and shujinku and raiden and Liu kang them all fighting against a younger Sh shujinku showing his power is unchecked and showing that where he's going he is definitely someone who's going to be a threat at some point if not contained and controlled same as someone like shang sung him finding his island going onto the island and everything little things like that we're excited to see what it's going to lead to just like the first tournament sure we have character changes like kui liang into scorpion but it's really really good because it works and the fact that they were both brothers still him and bihan like they was and having characters like harumi be completely different a younger scorpion and whatnot general shao and reiko finally getting the big time to shine shine reiko is with the fact of him being able to tame onaga there's lots of different things that they have yet to continue and show things that are still prospering in this universe and it feels like a miss if they keep throwing different timelines like shinnok he has yet to show up properly even anything you hear of his name but you don't see him so i would hate for them to literally go and say okay shinnok's been mentioned but he's not in this timeline instead we're going to drag another one from a different multiverse i feel like the multiverse thing now should end with titan havoc and then the next storylines that they do, whether it's a, a story that happens in Combat Pack 3 or one that happens for MK2, should be in this timeline. It should be set in the Mortal Kombat 1 timeline because it feels like it would be better. I would much more rather prefer to have the Dagon arc being something that comes into this with Taven and him and they're in this timeline. Even like I said about Shinnok, having Shinnok in this timeline and having him be the big bad and he's from the nether realm or even continuing with Reiko and um, Onaga and having him wanting to free Onaga and it's set in this timeline because then you can see General Shao utilizing Onaga's power to become obviously the Emperor of Outworld Shao Khan so I can see all these things happening there's so many storylines that they've built with these characters so many different ends meets that they can get to but it feels like they're giving us a little bit of it and then going right to a different version of that same villain that's come from a different timeline into Liu Kang's era. I don't think they need that at all. 
and think they're fine with the ones that they're doing right now if they keep to this and then after this havoc dlc they do have a third story deal or a second story dlc which will literally be the combat pack 3 one that you get i think that would be really cool and it shows and it stays in this timeline instead of it being a different one so then when we get to mk2 if they want to follow up on on um onto with onaga they can follow with onaga if they want to go up with shinnok they can do they can follow up with shinnok or anything else that they want to do i just think they should keep it in this timeline for now and really carry on with just this timeline let it explore instead of having someone else or something else from a different timeline coming into this one and it just feeling like the same game again another multiverse story another characters coming from a different world i think we've finished and had enough of that now so i really do hope that nrs see these type of videos and think yeah let's just continue from here in the era we've created now and set these characters up to become the characters that they're going to be and not have to look at their other counterparts and be like that's who i could be i'm gonna be like that or that's who i am in somewhere else i don't need to be like that it alters things and we know that they're all going to change back into the characters we know but we want to see it happen in this timeline not by someone else from a different timeline but let me know what you guys think do you think the multiverse story seems to be overdone would you like it to change to focus just on this mk1 new era so we can see the stories the characters and everything unfold and finish out without having to depend on another timeline of a different character from the same game but do like subscribe this is your boy future brain that's future stay frosty peeps peace